In the last video, I demonstrated the cone effect and showed that the line that made up the cone was made up of hundreds of laser dots, which means the laser is splitting into about a thousand smaller lasers to make this cone. In this video, I'll show how I can compound this effect to split a laser into over one million separate lasers and what the potential applications are. A diffraction grating is an optical component with periodic structures that splits and diffracts light into several beams traveling in different directions. I'm using both single axis, which splits a laser in only one axis, and double axis grating, which splits a laser both horizontally and vertically. When I combine the diffraction grating with the lenticular lens, every dot from the grating now becomes a line, and each line is made up of about a thousand small laser dots. If the diffraction grating is placed on an angle, those lines become much more numerous. What we're going to look at here is the laser going through the three pieces of diffraction grating and creating multiple dots. And what happens, we can actually create thousands of lines and each one of those is made up of individual dots if we were to go back far enough. So we can essentially turn a LiDAR system uh, into something that is many, many times more powerful than just what we thought we could do with a single line. Now we have thousands that can come out and all of them be curved as well. Using three pieces of diffraction grating now, this is a thousand lines per millimeter. Then I've got two pieces, which is single axis, two pieces of double axis, which are both 13,500 lines per inch and a very coarse piece of lenticular lens. just by me changing that angle or they can duplicate and uh, produce even more lines and each one of those is made up of a thousand dots if we were to go back farther and uh, just walk across the room here. The image you're seeing on the lower right of the projection screen is actually a shadow of the phone slash camera on top of the tripod, as all the laser lines are being stopped by the phone and tripod before hitting the screen. A sniper may no longer need to search through a scope to look for the enemy. With millions of lasers scanning the battlefield, he could just look at his tablet to see every person there and zoom in on the tablet to gain detail on a target. The level of detail should allow for facial recognition at many hundreds of yards. A drone or aircraft over the battlefield might be able to detect ultra-high resolution on both sides and warn allied soldiers of impending threats. A recent study in the US found that they could get a LiDAR reflection off a stealth aircraft, but they had to know where the aircraft was in order to pick it up, as LiDAR loses resolution with distance so at 10 miles away, it would be difficult to find it with one sweeping LiDAR. Now multiply that laser by a thousand, a hundred thousand, or a million or more lasers, and you're gonna see anything that's moving through the air and know exactly what you're seeing, even a hypersonic missile. In the future, with more powerful lasers, any target detected may be instantly neutralized. It's definitely not heating it up. But if I turn the laser slightly, 